I think we've got her trained. All right, Luna. Okay, so today we pulled off the radiator on the 7600. Uh, there was a leak in one of the, what we thought was originally the radiator, but it was just a hose going into the radiator. We didn't know that until we pulled it off. Uh, it's really not that big a deal to fix, and we've done it before, so uh, all we got to really do is start putting it back together. And uh, yeah, we were that clip that you just saw. We were blowing out the condenser on the on the 76, and it was just filled with dust. We sat and we blew it out with the air hose for at least five, ten minutes, and it was just solid dust coming out of it. So hopefully the air conditioner is air conditioner will start working better even though it really wasn't working that bad to begin with so see how that works out as you can tell there's really not a whole lot to these engines um, well there is but what's under the hood is mostly just air I mean once you take off the hood there's not a lot of stuff under it we take a step back I mean it looks pretty empty but um, just by taking off the hood you can see it a couple different parts of the, of the motor um, we got our filters down here um, water separator uh, this is the oil filter um, water filter I'm not even really sure what that one is but up here we got our alternator alternator um, that cycles the what it does is it makes a charge for the battery so the battery doesn't die when you're running stuff in the cab and running all the electronics um, that's just something you can see right off the start we had to take off that fan um, just to get the radiator out but yeah all I really wanted to say is that there's really not a whole lot to these tractors once you take off the hood I mean it looks it looks pretty empty so all right that's up